Hey, it's Trevor Jiggler. We recently went into the Kruger National Park via the Pabeni Gate. It's our first time going through that gate and into that section of the park, so I thought I'd do a quick episode to share our experience with you. Pabeni Gate is 430 kilometers from Joburg by road. It's about a five hour drive to get there and it's all tarred road. So the Pabeni Gate was built in 2002 and it was installed to relieve some of the pressure from the two nearest gates which are the Pretorius Gate and the Paul Kruger Gate. These are very very popular gates for people driving from Gauteng into the Kruger National Park especially on the way to Skukuza. This gate is about 10 kilometers outside of Hazy View so it's a very convenient entrance to the park if you're staying in Hazy View. So as a day visitor it's a very short drive from Hazy View just about 10 maybe 15 minutes and you're at the park gate. We found the personnel running the gate to be very proficient, really well prepared and very competent. So getting into the gate, the first thing we had to do was go through a COVID screening procedure which went really smoothly and we got a lot of really good information from the people that were running the gate. So well done to Sand Parks in that respect, that was a very positive start for our day going into the Kruger National Park. It's important to note that while there are COVID restrictions in place, there are quotas for each of the gates for people entering into the park. So if you don't want to be disappointed, you've got to book in advance, book in online and you will be able to then enter the gate within the time slot that you have booked. The Kruger Park is of course one of South Africa's most popular national parks, so those quotas do get filled up. So what you'll find at the gate is a set of offices where you can pay your fees and so on. There's also a little kiosk where you can buy basic snacks and drinks for your day in the park. There are also ablution facilities at the offices at the entrance gate and I really advise that you use these before you go into the park because once you're inside the park, the ablution facilities are quite far between. If there's one thing I could advise sand parks for the parks, it would be to have a bit more in respect of bathrooms and so on because it is a bit of a drive to get from one bathroom to another. So we've just got into Pabeni Gate at Kruger National Park and uh, we're hoping to see some really great wildlife. So a couple of trips from our experience driving through the Pabeni Gate and that area of the park. Firstly, driving along the Sabi River, we found that to be very productive. We saw a lot of wildlife on that road and we also saw quite a few of the big five. Another spot that we really liked was Nyamundwa Dam. That's about 10 kilometers from the gate. So that's a really great spot, especially if you are going to be driving out of the Kruger Park to go and stay outside in Hazy View, for example. So that you, that you can make your last stop and you can sit there until the sun's starting to set or you know, just make sure that you've got enough time to get out the gate. But then we've got some really great sightings there as well. In my experience, the best time to see the animals and wildlife in the park is during the winter and end of winter when it's dry and you can see through the bush quite well. We were quite fortunate as well that this was quite an overcast day which means that it's not as hot and so the animals are more likely to be out in the open. One of the great things about Kruger, one of the things that makes it so popular is that it always delivers and we were certainly not disappointed. There were three really big highlights for this trip. The first was that we saw a pack of wild dogs. So although I've been to many parks many times, this is actually the first time that I've seen a pack of wild dogs out in the wild. Wild dogs are of course endangered and so it's actually quite rare to see them. So it was really great to come across this pack of wild dogs just waiting on the side of the road there. It is a full family of grown up dogs and pups as well. The second highlight is when we were driving along the Sabi River and we came across a set of impala that looked very agitated. We immediately suspected that there was a large predator in the area, so driving back along the road in the direction in which the impala were agitated and facing and barking and so on, we came across a really beautiful sighting of a leopard. Leopards of course are very elusive, so these fleeting experiences for me are really fantastic. The third highlight was coming across a black rhino, which is the first time I've seen a black rhino in the wild. Unfortunately, I do not share footage of rhinos. Of course, this being the Kruger Park, there was a plethora of wildlife to see. As usual, the birding was fantastic. We saw lots of raptors, vultures, and a lot of other bird species besides. 
We actually spend more time looking for birds than we do for wildlife generally when we visit national parks. From Papeni Gate, Skukuza is about 40 kilometers away and Pretoria Corp is about 30 kilometers away. That's driving through the park. Obviously, you're driving at a relatively slow speed seeing animals and stuff, so it typically takes a bit more than an hour to get to either one of those. The nice thing about being able to access those is that they both have restaurants and larger facilities where you can buy stuff to eat, snacks, drinks, take a rest, etc. If you want a quiet place to picnic, then the Pretoria Corp picnic site for day visitors is really cool. It's actually quite quiet when you go there. I was surprised. I expected to find a bit more people there, but we found it to be very nice, really quiet, out in the bush and also the facilities are pretty good so there's a set of ablutions and a kitchen and so on so I thought it was really nice. Take note of course that when you're at these areas you are still in the Kruger National Park and there can still be dangerous wildlife around you. The dirt roads were in great condition obviously it helps having a 4x4 but we saw a number of other smaller vehicles on those dirt roads having no issues at all. So again, credit to the park for keeping the roads in good condition. Overall, this was a great experience. I think if you're staying at Spukuza, for example, and you get in a bit early, then you should consider going through the Pabeni Gate and making that part of your journey to your Spukuza site. And of course, you can make that part of your journey out when you're leaving the Kruger. Most conveniently though, if you don't want to stay in the Kruger, then there are numerous accommodation options in Hazy View, and it's a really short drive into the park. So as always, I hope you found this informative. Hit the like button if you did. Also subscribe, check out my other videos. And until the next episode, go everywhere, see everything. Have a great time.